students today we have to solve this integral log 1 plus y sin square f divided by sin square f between the limit 0 to pi by 2 and we have to prove that this uh, value of this integral is pi times under root 1 plus y minus 1 when y is greater than 1. So first we suppose that the given integral is equal to i log 1 plus y sin square f divided by sin square x between the limit 0 to pi by 2. Here we can see that y is the parameter because y is independent from x. So first we differentiate this integral with respect to the parameter y. So differentiate 1 with respect to the parameter y. Here y is the parameter because y is independent from x. So differentiate equation first with respect to the parameter y. So this can be written as di upon dy is equal to d by dy of integral of log 1 plus y sin square f divided by sin square x. Here, you, here the integral 1 differentiate with respect to the parameter y. In both the sides we write differential operator d by dy. Now in the right hand side this d by dy goes inside the integral sign it converts partially. So this can be written as del by del y of log of 1 plus y sin square x divided by sin square x. Now we differentiate this log 1 plus y sin square x divided by sin square x. Because we have to differentiate this partially with respect to y. So in this sin square x is constant. So it will be outside this differential operator. So this can be written as integration of 0 to pi by 2 of 1 upon sin square x del y del y of log of 1 plus y sin square x dx. Here we know that this uh, sin square x in the denominator this is constant with respect to y because here we differentiate this with partially with respect to the uh, parameter y. So this 1 upon sin square x goes outside the differential operator and that is 1 upon sin square x del by del y of log 1 plus y sin square x. Now we differentiate this log 1 plus y sin square x partially with respect to y. So we can write this differentiation of suppose that this is equal to x and we know that this is equal to y and we know that differentiation of log y with respect to y is 1 upon y. So differentiation of this is 1 upon 1 plus y sin square x. Now we differentiate 1 plus y sin square x. So 1 is constant. So differentiation of 1 with respect to y is 0. And when we differentiate y sin square x with respect to y, we get sin square x is constant because we differentiate here partially with respect to y. So sin square x constant with respect to y. And differentiation of y with respect to y, this is equal to 1. Now, this sin square x and this sin square x both are cancel out. So, we cancel here this sin square x by this sin square x and get here integration of 1 upon 1 plus y sin square x between the limit 0 to pi by 2. Now we integrate this 
here we write dI upon dy is equal to 0 to pi by 2 1 upon 1 plus y sin square x. Now we integrate this 1 upon 1 plus y sin square x. For integration this we divide the numerator and denominator by sin square x. Now we know that this 1 upon sin square x in the numerator this becomes cosec square x and in the denominator this 1 upon sin square x is cosec square x and this sin square x cancel by this sin square x and get here y. Now in the denominator the cosec square x convert into 1 plus cot square in the denominator we write this cos x square x uh, with cot square x plus 1 plus y. Now we can write this 0 to pi by 2 cos x square x dx divided by cot square x plus under root 1 plus y whole square. Now we use method of substitution for integration. So here we can write di upon dy is equal to integration of 0 to pi by 2 of cos square x dx divided by under root 1 plus y whole square plus cot square x. Here we use method of substitution. So put here t is equal to cot x. Now we differentiate this t with respect to x. So we get dt upon dx is equal to minus cosec square x. So differentiation of cot x with respect to x is minus cosec square x. So from here we write minus dt is equal to cosec square x dx. Now we change the limit. Here the lower limit is x equal to 0. So t is equal to cot 0 and cot 0 this is equal to infinity. Now we write here then x equal to pi by 2 so t is equal to cot pi by 2 and cot pi by 2 this is equal to 0 here. So di upon dy can be written as here cos x square x dx is equal to minus dt so we write here minus dt divided by under root 1 plus y whole square plus here cot x is equal to t so in place of cot x we put here t that is t square and here the lower limit is 0 so corresponding x equal to 0 we get t is equal to infinity and corresponding x equal to pi by 2 we get t is equal to 0 here. Now if we change this uh, limit interchange the limit so this integral will be negative so by the property of the definite integral if we change the interchange the limit of integration here lower limit and upper limit we have to interchange so this integral will be negative here and this minus so this minus multiplied by minus we get plus here so this is 0 to infinity dt upon under root 1 plus y whole square plus t square now we know that the formula uh, of integration of 1 upon a square plus x square. So that is 1 upon a, a is here under root 1 plus y, 10 inverse x by a. So y upon under root 1 plus y. This is dy upon dy. Now we substitute the upper limit and the lower limit. 
so we write here d i upon d y this is equal to 1 upon under root 1 plus y first we write here infinite in place of y we get here 10 inverse infinity minus in place of y we get here sorry this is t here uh, so uh, in place of t we put here uh, infinity so this is 10 inverse infinity minus in place of t we put here 0 so this is 10 inverse 0 now this 10 inverse infinity is pi by 2 and 10 inverse 0 is 0 here so this becomes pi upon 2 root of 1 plus y this is d i upon d y is equal to now now we integrate this d i upon d y with respect to y so this can be written as d i is equal to pi upon 2 1 plus y whole power minus 1 by 2 dy. Now integrate both sides. So integration of di is equal to pi by 2 is constant. So it will be outside the integral sign and 1 plus y whole power minus 1 by 2 dy. Here integration of di this is equal to i here and in the right hand side integration of 1 plus y whole power minus 1 by 2 can be written as 1 plus y whole power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c so here we solve this minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so i is equal to here pi by 2 1 plus y whole power 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 plus c so this 2 is cancelled by this 2 so i is equal to pi under root 1 plus y plus c this is the second equation here c is the integration constant now we find the value of the integration constant so from put y is equal to 0 in the given integral 1 we get we get i is equal to 0 because when we put y is equal to 0 in the given integral so 0 multiplied by sin square x we get 0 and 1 plus 0 that is 1 so log 1 is equal to 0 so i is equal to 0 so put y is equal to 0 in the given integral 1 uh, now put y is equal to 0 in second we get i is equal to pi root of 1 plus 0 plus c this is equal to pi root 1 plus c so this is pi plus c now we can see here in the above i is equal to 0 when y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 i is equal to pi plus c so compare this we write here 0 is equal to pi plus c so this gives c is equal to minus pi now put c is equal to minus pi in the above equation 2 we get i is equal to pi root 1 plus y minus pi now we taking common here pi we get root 1 plus y minus 1 so this is the given uh, this is the integral of uh, the uh, this is the solution of the given integral thank you